morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you very much for joining me today, especially for those people that were at our workshop yesterday, because you're probably still very excited after that. Well, you should be. It was a brilliant afternoon with John, uh, John Lockwood, I should say. Um, and I'm sure if you are a member of the Maximum Fra Crafts Facebook group, you'll be able to see some of the fantastic uh, projects that most people managed to complete on the day. Um, but yeah, it was a really, really good afternoon. So um, looking forward to the next one, which will be in September, on September the 24th. So pop a note in your diary if you're thinking of needing to join us along then. Of course, it will be Christmas then. Well, sort of Christmas. You know what I mean? Christmas projects. But today, with the fact that three weeks today is Father's Day, I thought we would go along with some sort of mail cards. And I've got together a nice little project for you, very, very simple, but with some different sort of ideas and some different offers with it. So first of all, the die that I'm going to be working with is one of the shaped card collection dies from um, Creative Expressions. This one's called Hawaiian Shirt, although I have to say the design that I'm going to do has hardly got anything to do with, well, nothing really to do with <laughs> Hawaii whatsoever. But it's a really pretty die. Pretty? That's not the word. It's a really practical die. Um, it makes it into a shaped card. So maybe you can see down on the bottom there that you can actually make it so that it's a stand up card on its own, which is nice. But I'm going to use it as the card, the shirt front. It comes with nine dies altogether. So there's lots of different things. And obviously being Hawaiian, that's the idea of it. If you look inside, you can see some of the samples, which are clearly much more Hawaiian. Um, but I don't do Hawaii, I've decided. <laughs> I'm not going to be going and I don't know anyone that is. But if you do, there's some lovely ideas there. But I thought we'd go for a, a, a man's card. So there's some lovely design, dies and whatever that we're going to be using on the back. And to go with it, if you purchase that today, you will get a free um, press cut die cutting uh die cut here so it's it looks as if I must point this out it looks as if you're going to get two lots well you are but in one die so basically this die cuts out separately the words happy mothers fathers and day so four separate words all together and so each um, time you push it through you will get happy mother father's day which is rather nice. I suppose that's if you can't make your mind up, really. Um, and I've just popped that in there because not everybody wants to do a Father's Day card. But now and again, it comes in handy. And I thought, let's give it away as a free gift to my lovely crafting family, because then, you know, you've got this for a, for a mail card, but not necessarily wanting to do for Father's Day. But you've got it if you wish. So that will come with your die set. One of those. And then the other option, because I thought I know what people will do, they will ask about it. I have put together a little Hawaiian shirt or shirt, I should say, card bundle, which includes a pack of 10 linen cards in dark blue, which is one of the new colours. And then we've got a sheet each. So it's an A4 sheet each of shirt colours. So we've got navy gingham. We've got tartan red, I'm calling it, to differentiate between this one, although it is blue as well. Um, navy, ging, uh, navy dot and tartan blue. So you have an A4 sheet of each of those as well in your pack with your 10 sheets of linen card. Now, they are made up by me personally, so they're not um, something that you can buy from Crafts 2 or anything like that. So it is a... a an exclusive to Maximum Crafts put together there for you. So let us show you what we want to do with our lovely card today. So to start off with, I'm going to make it up into a seven by seven card because that's kind of like the type of card that I want to use. Okay, and I'm going to make it into a top folding one. 
and I've got myself some of the dark blue linen card and also some of the white linen card because I thought we would do it in the blue and white theme along today. So first of all, I'm going to make the background for it. So what I mean by that is I'm actually going to do a little bit of stamping. OK, so it's a bit of a cheeky stamping in as much as I'm afraid to say the die, the stamp set that I'm using is no longer available apart from a couple literally that I have that are on the website. So I apologise in advance for that, getting you all excited and then knowing that you can't get it. Um, so I am chopping a piece of the dark blue card to measure 16 and a half centimetres by 16 and a half centimetres or six and a half by six and a half inches, if that's what you prefer. And then I'm going to take a piece of my white linen card and trim that down by just half a centimetre so that it's 16 by 16, or if you prefer, six and a quarter by six and a quarter. Okay. So these two are going to go together like that. If we bring in our card, you can see already that we've got the basis of the card starting off. OK, so let's do the stamping that I want to do to it first. Let's scoot those bits of paper out of the way. So I'm going to pop that onto my stamping platform. And the die set that I'm using is from Phil Martin. So it's a Sentimentally Yours. Um, and it's one of the corner ones. Now it is... Um, it's called Exquisite Corners. Um, so it was something that came out um, earlier this year um, and they were so popular. They don't appear to be available at all. You may find it, having said that, you may find it on his own website, but it isn't available to trade um, anymore. So I'm not sure whether they're sort of, they usually are sort of like one runs, aren't they? I'm just going to put that protective layer over because I wanted to make it into a Father's Day card, but I also wanted to make it into um, any mail card, really. So I'm going to put two sentiments, one that says, especially for you today. And then the other one I'm going to put in the opposite corner, which says to someone very special. So I think both of those fit onto that card. All right, it's not a, not a problem to do that. So I've put them in position. You could not do this as easily without a stamping platform. So I have to say, um, I've said it before, convert to stamping platforms. And this one is all you need, in my opinion. So I'm just going to pick that up. So that I've got that. And then I can take off this protective layer there, just in case, because I know I didn't. Um, I didn't make it. Um, I didn't clean it off before I used it just now and I was just having a practice. So I'm going to use Versafine Claire Twilight, which is a pigment ink, which means that I could, if I wanted to, emboss it um, by putting clear or colour for that matter, embossing powder on it. But that's not what I want to do. Um, and another reason why I wanted to use the stamping platform is because I'm going to be using it onto linen card, which obviously has got that texture to it. You might need to pop it down a couple of times because going onto a textured surface might mean that the stamp doesn't come out completely. However, today it does. So that's good. I thought I'd better say that in advance because you know what would happen if I didn't say it. It would do it, wouldn't it? So I've just turned that round. So they stamp opposite corners to start off with. I haven't needed to move my... I can't see that one, can you? Yes, can. I haven't needed to move that one down there at all um, because I know I'm working on a square. And so I just need to pop them together again. And as long as I've just turned my square around exactly as it is, I should be fine. So I've got that very pretty um, wording done in, I think, a very nice way. So take that out of the way. We won't be needing the stamping platform anymore. Because it is Versafine Claire and that is such a juicy um, ink, 
I'm going to be a bit careful with it because I don't want it to be smudged at this stage. So I'm going to leave it to the to the next um, part. But it is, if you can imagine, going to go onto my card there. So that's where we're aiming. But I'm not actually doing that just at the minute. OK, so I'm going to take, um, I think I'm going to go with the denim. OK, so mind your eyes, first thing in the morning. But So this is the outer die. Now, the outer die, let me just show you that. I'm not going to use the outer die, but I just want to show you how you would use that. So if I just grab myself, hold on, grab myself a piece of white card. This is being a bit um, frivolent with the white card, I have to say, but you're worth it. You're worth it to show it. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to, if you look at the back of the die, you've got the cutting edge all the way around the die, but not at that point there. That point is the bit that will not cut. So I'm going to pop my die so that that point is on the edge, literally on the edge, and then tape that down into position. I'm then going to run that through my machine. And this will then come out as either, well, it will come out as a separate, completely standing separately, little um, shaped card but you could use this as a border as well I'll show you what I mean so hopefully that's cut through so let's just just take my scissors just snip So you can see that you've already got that shape of um, a shirt. And then because we've kept that, that bit didn't cut, if you remember, you have got a freestanding, now it does look a bit funny from this angle, but a freestanding card. So, and it sort of finds its own way. It doesn't stand absolutely straight because you've got that curved edge, but it's find, it finds its own way to stand absolutely straight. And I think that that's quite nice if you were to go, um, even sort of as place settings, um, that type of thing, or birthday invitations that you could just write your invitations inside there, but that you've got a shirt that's going to go onto the front. Okay, so I'm going to put that to one side because we're actually not using that die. We are using this one, and we are going to be using this die only. So you have got a separate little. Um, pocket which we're going to cut out as well but we're going to cut that out from a different colour so we're going to first of all go over to this one so because it's denim I am denim gingham I am just using if I can the straight edges of it so that I'm lining it up and it's not going to be skew with and I'm just going to pop that through my card machine there we go oops popped out already <laughs> so there we go you can see that that has now cut your shirt out and if I was to put it onto this freestanding one you can see now what I mean about the fact that that could make a really lovely um, small card um, invitation, that type of thing. Now, I know you can't see this very, very well, but it has given a lot of detail. Now, you can't see that all that well, but if I turn it over, you perhaps can see the detail there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm also now going to cut that out again, and I'm going to take this little strip, okay, um, to cut the die out. Now, that sounds a bit daft, I know. But the only part of the die that I need this to cut out is the lapels and the middle bit. OK, so 
I'm going to pop that so that we know that is in the right position so that I know I've covered myself with the collar at the top and also down the bottom and at the same time I'm going to cheekily pop that little pocket in because I want to do both of those. Okay. Now before I actually do do that I'm going to get myself a little bit of the twilight colour and I'm going to pop that, run that through carefully so I don't want to get um, too mucky with it and I'm running that through the buttons on my card front here so that I have got what will be some little buttons. Okay. So that's just popping the little colour. So then I'm going to run that through my machine again. I'll do it that way so that I've got it all on there. So this is going to cut out the lapels and it's going to cut out the pocket. All in white. Oh, the pocket has fallen around. And even again, if you look at the details of the pocket, you can see it's even got a little slit in here so that you could pop things into the pocket, which is quite nice. So this all comes off. We haven't wasted hardly anything at all, which is what I like. You can see that you've got very much so the um, buttons down the front. And so we need to trim this about a bit. So how are we going to do that? Well, what I suggest that we do is either with scissors or with a craft knife that we actually just trim this down. But we trim it down in such a way that we're being a bit careful with it. So what I mean by that is if we were to get, let me use my what looks grubby, we, I'm going to get myself um, a craft knife or you could use scissors. And I'm just going to cut down along the lines here of the collar and down that side as well. And then I'm going to cut the collar there and there so that that comes away that to one side. Now I personally prefer to actually cut this centre triangular type bit in because if you were to look at a collar you would be able to see the, this bit here would actually be the back of the shirt. You can see what I mean. Oh that'll serve me right not to put that on tightly won't it. Hey? Doubt. Oh, and then it had already cut it out anyway. Let's put that one somewhere safely. So you could leave that bit in, but I think that that looks more like what a collar would look like. Okay. Now, this middle bit here, you could cut that out with a craft knife. You could use a metal ruler and then cut down like that, but you could also. Pop this bit, pop this into your guillotine and along those lines there, just simply line them up with your cutting edge and trim like that. So you've got lots of different options, whichever you prefer. Um, so I'm just looking at the line of that shirt and I've put that on my cutting edge here. Obviously, if you've got a different paper trimmer, you're not going to be able to do quite this, but you could also do that with the craft knife. And then I'm going to move it over and I'm going to line up the next line again with my cutting edge. And then I've cut out my strip completely. OK, so let's get that out of the way. And when then we can construct our shirt. So our shirt will now have our collar like that, our strip, the buttons down the middle and somewhere, okay, somewhere 
Are you all shouting at me where it is? Probably in the bin. Yeah, it's in the bin. <laughs> oh, blimey, now I've dropped it right in the bin. Okay, plan B. Run another one of those. <gasps> what am I doing? What am I like? It's still all the excitement of yesterday's day, isn't it? Eh? It fell in the bin, and unfortunately, I didn't fall, I didn't empty the bin, and so it's fallen right to the bottom. So let's not scrubble to get that, had we? Right, and then it's fallen on the floor. Okay, and so we are then. Look, I think it's this side here to put. Ooh, there you go, there's our little shirt. So let's pop that on. Now, you could put um, foam on here, but everyone knows. Oh. Oh, let's see if it will work. I don't know why I've got this one out, actually. There you go. Will this work now? Nah. Oh, talk amongst yourselves for a little while, will you, whilst I sort out my glue. God. My little pots are so much better, but I pack them away for a workshop, and I know that I haven't got them out again. So that is not... Very good. That work? No. Oh, gosh. We go from to the side. As I said, talk amongst yourselves. Should be okay now, she says. Plan B. Thank you. Talk to it nicely and it might work. So I'm going to pop my shirt into position. And it's covering another one that's on there. So it's nothing sort of too difficult in order to find out where it should go. And then pop a little bit of glue down in the centre of my button strip. Or whatever you might call it. And popping that down like that. And then my pocket, just looking if there was a place for the pocket, but it doesn't show that. So I suppose that the pocket can be put on any side, and I'm going to put it on just there. So now we have our lovely man's type card. Now, if I bring back in my card here now. So this sort of style here, we could say, well, that is for, you know, um, any occasion. We're going to make it into a Father's Day card just by the addition of the wording. But we've got two ways of finishing this. So I showed you the little card that that made so that that makes it into an opening card. Or we could, uh, we'll decide, you can decide for me, we can take the other piece of the dark blue card pop that one on the outside, but now bearing in mind that I don't need to have this piece folded over, okay? I'm gonna run that through the machine again, and then we'll just decide whether we want to give it a border or not. So there's a lot of options with just really the two dies, the, the inner and the outer, shall we say. I could use glue glaze, Shirley. I could indeed. <laughs> oh dear. Me and glue. We don't mix, do we? We don't stick together like glue. Let's just chop that bit there. So, having made this, we can then put a little border around it. I think that looks better. What do you think? As my chief um, 
advisors. What do you think? I think that that actually looks a little bit better. Um, yeah. It stands out a bit more, doesn't it? I know a shirt wouldn't exactly be like that, but I think that that looks a bit better. Yeah, I'm just looking at your words to see what you're thinking. I reckon that we've decided it is. So, OK, so let's pop this together. So I am going to put that on here and then I'm going to use my phone. Sorry if we thought that this was a day that we'd get away without using any phone. It isn't. So I'm going to stick my shirt directly onto my card um, background there which gives that a nice finish, doesn't it? I like these sort of tartans and, and um, that, because they look really like a shirt without having to do anything to it. I mean, you could, you know, do stamping and all that sort of thing to it. <clears throat> but, let's check which way around the cardboard is, up the top, because that's where I want it to be. Um, but... I think that, you know, doing men's cards, it needs to be quite simple, doesn't it? We could, you could do anything for a man's card, but um, if we're going to do coloured, you'd have to do small patterns in order to be suitable for a shirt, which is why I think that these already printed cards look really good like that without having to print them. Um, just trying to find... One for you in a safe place. I don't know. I'd already cut out one in the gingham, which looked very nice as well. So there's not a particularly right and a wrong way for this one. But I'm going to just pop some glue into the center. And that will give me that nice blue border which then complements the blue border that we've got on here. Okay, so I'm sure that that is dry now, but I'm just being a little bit careful with that. So then I'm going to take my card here, and I'm going to have to put dark um, black, because I've just realised that I ran out of my um, two millimetre foam. And I think five, uh, three millimetre would just be a bit too much. So I'm just going to pop this into the back. More is more with foam anyway. Um, just take the backings off and as always add a little dot of glue to the back there so that we can be sure that it's going to stick forever and a day. Not that the foam wouldn't do, because it is very, very good foam, but, you know, we wouldn't want you to go to the bother of making all these lovely cards and then find that as the recipient takes it out of the packet, pop, it all goes to pieces. We don't want that, do we? Whoops. So bringing in my card again, just double checking again that I've got the opening where I want it and where I want to place that. Now, we could put that straight there, but I am going to put it slightly at an angle, and that's going to go just there, which then should give me just enough room there to put in my happy father's when I've put some glue on it. And as I said, it also at the same time cuts out, pop that there so you can see what I mean, it cuts out the word mothers as well. So, you know, it covers both things. I know that not everybody needs or wants to do a Father's Day card, which is why I've just put it in as a free um, gift as such there, because I think that it goes really nicely. And Shirley Green, Queen of the Glue Glaze, that's what I'm going to use to pop this on. So just turn these over. And 
potentially, potentially. Um, I'll use a handy clip because I was going to put it on with a, I was going to find my tweezers, but hey, it's Sunday. We don't know where tweezers are on Sunday. I'm just going to wipe that over the back of that one. Oh, might not be able to do it like that. No, maybe not. We did need tweezers, so it'll be fingers instead. So, happy. It's going to go. I don't need to check that it's straight. I think it is. I've cut these out of one of the scraps of the, the um, dark blue card. So, just in case you were wondering where that's been cut from. And glue glaze itself will dry clear. So, the fact that I'm getting it into a pickle and it looks as if it's white because I just smothered the wheel over it. All will be well. It will indeed disappear before your very eyes. But it will stay stuck. And it will look quite nice. So if you need a Father's Day card, you will have the opportunity to have such a thing. But if you don't, you can use any sentiments, obviously, for any occasion. Um, you can use different sentiments here. You might have a happy birthday. And don't forget, on your um, stamping platform, if you have small enough words, you can arrange them. So you could have happy, the word stamps, happy, and then birthday. And then you can arrange them so that as you put them down onto your card and turn your card around, every time the word happy and birthday will be in the corners like that. So each time you will have had that word like that, which I think would look nice. Um, or you might have some corners from some time before. All in all, it's just a different way of doing it. If you didn't want your sentiments there and you just wanted a happy birthday or a happy Father's Day just down here, you could put some gems or use some of the corners, anything really. It all works. The um, shirt dye will look different again if you did it, as we said, in different colours. And just to remind you, over in the middle of the book that you get, the Hawaiian type of theme of it, you have got a really lovely different selection there um, that you might like to. I think it's nice for happy retirement as well, isn't it? Um, not quite so sure, I have to say, about the Hawaiian element of, of that. And I don't know where you, I suppose those are just papers, really. Um, but not papers I have, unfortunately. The leaves and the flowers, they make an individual um, very pretty thing here as well. So you've got all that. You've got a lovely pair of sunglasses, which I think would look really cool. But today we have used the outline die. Um, I've shown you how to make it into a clipped card, if you see what I mean. A standalone card. Or we've used our die here, which makes it like that. And we've used it as a border. And then you've got your little um, pocket, which is separate so that it will cut out. And it even has that little opening so that you can pop things into it, like pop your sunglasses, that type of thing into it. So it's a really fun die, fun die for a fun guy. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm waking up now. The size of the die, the largest one is 13 and a half almost centimetres. So that's about um, six inches, five inches, five inches, five inches, I think. So you can see this is a seven by seven card. So you can see roughly how that all fits in. So there you go. That's what we have for you today. So we have the die with the free die set of the Happy Mother and Happy Father's Day. But we've also got the card um, selection that you might like to go for with the new colour of dark blue and also the different colours. I've used that one today, the gingham. So you get a sheet of each of those as well. OK, they are all available while stocks last over on the um, Maximum Craft website under the Facebook Live section, despite the fact that we're actually on YouTube Live. Long story. 
Um, but nevertheless, that's where we are. And we'll be back again on Wednesday. So Wednesday will be the 1st of June. And I will be then using the die that uh, becomes available this evening. Uh, well, this afternoon, rather. And um, we've got the new Attercliff coming out this afternoon. So um, that will be really good as well. Um, some lovely designs that you'll be able to see coming up on there. So hope you can join John over on Create and Craft and have a look at, at all of those. Um, so, yeah, that's Wednesday. And then next Sunday, we launch our monthly card kit. Got that all ready to go for you. Bargain of the year again. So I hope that you can join me next Sunday if you can't make it on Wednesday. Um, and um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sean was going to say something else, but there you go. So thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. I hope you have a really good day um, and I will see you as soon as you possibly can. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I was going to say, if you can't make it, don't forget. All of the YouTube videos are all recorded for you over on the Maximum Craft channel on YouTube. So they're there for evermore. God help us all. Thank you very much. Bye.